How much plastic have you consumed in the last six months? Well, if I had to guess, it would be about half a credit card. That is how much plastic that you have eaten or consumed through liquid or eating certain foods in your diet. So in today's video, what I want to do is actually share with you uh, the dangers associated with microplastics and we'll dive deep into how we can actually eliminate and detoxify the body of these harmful chemicals. So first of all, what are microplastics? Microplastics are tiny pieces of plastic debris, typically less than five millimeters in size that originate from the breakdown of larger plastic items or are intentionally manufactured at small sizes. Microplastics can be divided into primary and secondary. Primary microplastics are items of plastic that are already smaller than five millimeters. Microbeads from cosmetics and fibers from clothing. Secondary microplastics are formed when larger plastics items such as bottles are made brittle by UV light and broken down by wave action. Sources of microplastics include cosmetics products, toothpaste, shower gels, microfibers from textiles, vehicle tires, food products, mostly seafood, paints, etc. Moving on, let's have a look at the health dangers of microplastics. Microplastics BPA, mostly present in water bottles, interferes with our hormonal system affecting fertility and development. Microplastics may lead to the dysfunction of the liver, cause metabolic disorder and oxidative stress. Microplastics DHP, mostly used to make plastics flexible, may cause various cancers. Microplastics, mostly phthalates, may cause heart disease and may develop type 2 diabetes and obesity in humans. Microplastics in the gastrointestinal tract could interact with gut microbiota, potentially disrupting microbial communities and affecting overall gut health and immune function. Microplastics may potentially cause adverse effects on organ systems and physiological functions after entering our bloodstream and tissues through ingestion. Now you're probably wondering how long does microplastics or these microplastic compounds last in the human body? Microplastics can stay in the human body for varying lengths of time as they are not easily broken down or excreted. While the exact duration can depend on factors such as the type of plastic, the size of the particles, and individual differences in metabolism and excretion, research suggests that microplastics can persist in the body for weeks to years. These tiny particles can potentially accumulate in various tissues and organs, leading to concerns about their potential long-term health effects. Moving on, let's have a look at these scientific studies that demonstrate the health dangers associated with ingesting or absorbing these microplastics. In vitro and in vivo, animal studies show that MPs can lead to reduced fertility in men, reduced ovarian capacity, apoptosis of granulosa cells, or even reduce sperm motility, they cause oxidative stress and cell apoptosis and inflammatory effects. Microplastics have now been identified as a class of emerging pollutants and is considered as a threat to aquatic organisms. Now let's have a look at ways to detoxify the body from these microplastics and how do we actually eliminate them from our body if we've had exposure over the years. Regular exercise and sweating. Engage in regular physical activity to support circulation and sweating, which can help eliminate toxins from the body. Support liver health. The liver is the body's primary detoxification organ. Support liver health by eating a balanced diet rich in fruits, vegetables, and whole grains, and staying hydrated with plenty of water. Supplements, activated charcoal, chlorella, spirulina, niacinamide, probiotics, antioxidants to reduce oxidative stress. Avoid single-use plastics. Minimize the use of single-use plastics such as plastic bags, bottles, and packaging. Opt for reusable alternatives made from glass, stainless steel, or other materials. Check the ingredients of personal care and cosmetic products to ensure they do not contain microbeads. Look for products labeled as microbead-free. Reduce shellfish consumption. Microplastics that end up in the ocean are ingested by bottom-feeding shellfish. When you consume the shellfish, the microplastics are then ingested by you. Reducing or avoiding your consumption of shellfish can help cut down on the amount of microplastics that get into your system. Choose natural fibers. When purchasing clothing and textiles, choose natural fibers like cotton, wool, hemp, or bamboo instead of synthetic materials like polyester, nylon, and acrylic, which shed microfibers during washing. 
Filter drinking water, use a high quality water filtration system to remove microplastics from drinking water. Some filtration systems are specifically designed to remove microplastics and other contaminants. Don't microwave your food in plastic. Plastic and microwaves don't mix. Plastic containers leach plastics when they're heated. This holds true even when plastic containers are labeled microwave safe. Buy plastic free cosmetics. Read labels carefully looking for words that indicate the use of microbeads, polyethylene abbreviated PE, polypropylene abbreviated PP, polyethylene terephthalate, a form of polyester abbreviated PET or P8, polymethyl methacrylate, abbreviated PMA, nylon. So now I really want to emphasize something that I've personally used over the years, and that is a compound known as calcium deglucurate. Now, calcium deglucurate has been a mainstay in my supplementation regime, and that is because I personally notice a reduction in estrogenic-like effects when I use that particular compound. And so what I really want to emphasize here is that we need to pay attention to these microplastics since they can damage the human body and they can lead to various health consequences. So we need to take microplastics very seriously if we care about achieving optimal health. So if you have any questions, leave a comment down below and let's get a discussion going. Have you personally dedicated uh, a specific protocol to eliminating microplastics from your you know, lifestyle? Leave a comment down below. That's it from me today. I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video.